also something that far too many people are obsessed with sports has gotten a bit of uh, debate recently regarding transgender athletes now i think i should probably mention that when it comes to sports i suck like i do a t i do just as good of a job as a sports person as joe biden does as a president that's how bad i am like i remember when i was a kid I was forced to do the male ones because I was assumed to be male. And we, you know the cross country and that, um, where you run laps and, well, the girls only had to do three and the boys had to do four. Because what better way to reinforce the patriarchy than to assume that men can do more than women? And I couldn't even finish what the girls had to do. But then I I've just discovered that there's this amazing thing. Uh, and I, I wish I had tried it, tried it during that time. Because then I might have had a better shot. It's called having a biological advantage. Because you're transgender. And uh, so I, I thought I may as well try that out, see how much better I am at sporting events and that, like, because apparently if you're a trans woman, you have an advantage now. So I decided to put on as much weight as possible on that little uh, pole thing, you know, that you hold when you go. <laughs> um, well... I put as much as I can on there. Someone tried to talk me out of it, saying that's too much. It's like, ah, bollocks, I'm transgender. We, everyone knows trans women have a biological advantage. And so I tried to lift it up. And it immediately fell, squashing my neck. I was this close to dying. This close. Which ironically just how it happens to be the same size as Andrew Tate's cock. I was this close to dying. And then this cis woman next to me lifts it with no problems whatsoever to save my life. So, is death the biological advantage that we have then? <laughs> 